And boom, I am here with my friend Ange. And you guys know me, I'm Tyler. And uh, Ange is here because she has completed her 16 weeks in the program. We just did our one-on-one -on -one, um, online program and now she's in the alumni program. But she's seen awesome results during the 16 weeks that we worked together. And uh, she is so kind and so great that she's going to tell you guys all about these results and tell you about her experience because Ange is great. We love Ange and she's wonderful. So Ange, welcome. And uh, why don't you just tell everybody, I'm not going to tell everyone your results, but I'll ask you a couple questions here. First one, um, what's your life like? like? What's everything like right now for you? Uh, what's a normal day in Angie's life look like? All right. Well, hi, guys. I'm Angie. Um, and my life is crazy. So I am what people would call workaholic. I enjoy working, but my days usually start around 7, 630, depending, um, and go till 6, 630 at night, um, not including an hour each way that I drive to work. Um, with that being said, I'm a director, so I oversee outpatient clinics um, in the health field. So I have clinics throughout a different region that I um, travel to. So my days are on the go, uh, can change by the minute, and are quite lengthy. So that's what I do right now. Um, I really enjoy it, but it can be a little challenging with life, doing right. other things outside of work. Right. Yeah, I, re I remember, Ange, the first time that we talked, we you were trying to do the virtual boot camp, but you could never hop on because you never could get home in time for the mm -hmm. virtual boot camp. And then when we did talk about this program, you were like at work. I mean, I hope your boss mm -hmm. is watching me. You were at work. <laughs> and, and so I was like, this is, this is awesome. Um, well, so cool. Yeah, that, that you're pretty busy. And I think that's, uh, that's what makes your results so great because you worked really hard for them. So uh, where were you before me? Like, what were you doing? What was your fitness life like? What was that at the time? All right. So um, before I actually joined this program, I did my own thing. I was doing Beachbody here and there. Um, I did find a program I really liked. I saw some results, but I still wasn't happy. Um, with that being said, shortly after my results, I'd fall off the wagon. I'd be too quote unquote busy um, and I wouldn't make time for it. And I just made excuse after excuse on what not to do. Um, so, I mean, I did, I don't, I'm going to product name here. I did thrive for a while and I sold that. It was a cool product, um, made me feel good. But again, it's more of like a, a supplement and I was sick of doing supplements. I tried the beach body shakes and they also supplement. So I wanted something that was going to be long-term. Um, but I was also on the fence about getting into the program. Um, my cousin, Natasha, who has had awesome, awesome results um, and just finished a week or two ago, her 16 weeks um, really encouraged me. And she's the one that kept on telling me to go to boot camp. And of course, I always had a reason. Could I have made time? Probably. But I didn't um, because I wasn't quite there yet. Um, and I just want to say, like, if it weren't for you and her continuously asking me and asking if it was time to make a change, I may not have taken the leap. So I'm so thankful that both of you continued to tell me to do it. And I decided that it was time to work on me. So here I am. Well, I'm glad yeah. you did. And it's <laughs> awesome to have you. And yeah, you, you had mentioned you tried a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. And you know, you were doing the, the, the workouts, again, we won't, we won't name drop, but yeah, you were doing the workouts that you were talking about, you'd done different supplements and you wanted something that was like long-term, um, mm -hmm. which is awesome that you did decide to hop on board. It took a little bit of uh, virtual wrestling and uh, you know, no threats were made towards you, but <laughs> you came out and we're happy about that. So um, you know, off of that, what were the strategies that we used? Because some of those things you saw results, but you didn't mm -hmm. sustain them or they just, you just quit doing them. So what were the strategies that we used in particular that helped you to see these kinds of results that we've been able to sustain? Basically the one-on-one -on -one that, um, that we had, uh, you teaching me what to eat properly, when to eat um, your macros. I did a lot of research on your resources that you provide for us um, and listened to those and looked at those and really learning how the body breaks down food and when it's important to eat certain kinds of foods. That was huge. Um, that's things that I, will stick with me forever, even when I'm no longer doing this program every single day. Um, I hope to still 
continue to follow those, but the education and as well as the workouts that you would tailor towards me. So even though we had our workouts, we would add different things to, to help in different areas. Like we would have abs to help, um, you know, work in that area. So you really took into account what I wanted and what, how I am and made a program right around me. So that's, that's huge. That's where it was at. I think that's why it's been so successful. And I've been wanting to continue on and on it there. You know, I don't miss a day. I, if I miss a day during the week, I make it up during the weekend. So this is very true. This is very true. And that, that's awesome. I'm glad that you brought that up because we have added a couple of different things in there. And the, I think the education is the most important part, like you were saying, but mm -hmm. you do not miss a day. You're very, you're on the ball. Whenever we check over nutrition, whenever we talk about this stuff, you know, we're always trying to improve little by little by little. And we had our, our alumni call the other day. It's mm -hmm. like, so what's your goals now? And you're like, whatever you want, like, let's make these go. Let's just make it happen. And so I, that's what I love about you is that you're willing to um, just keep pushing the boundaries and you're open to try new things. You're open to try and learn different things. You're not like so set on what you knew in the past mm -hmm. and what you did before. So I think that's also why you've seen really good results. So Enough about that. What were your results? What were the results, Ange? Let's hear it. Uh, well, from when I started, I was a little over 160, between 161 and 163. I can't remember my exact weight, um, but I'm down to almost 18 pounds, right. just under 20 pounds. So, which I will tell you at the beginning, I wanted to lose 30 pounds and I had to do it. Um, but as the, um, the program progressed and as I did, I'm super happy with my results right now and I can't wait to continue to see them I have more definition than I think I ever have had even when I was running and um, all the time as a teenager uh, I feel much better um, just a disclosure on me I can't speak for everyone else but I was running with high blood pressure and high heart rate before I started joining the program and eating well um, my blood pressure has come down a ton and um, my heart rate as well. So it helped me deal with some anxiety and stress that I was facing, but also with the nutrition change and adding exercise has helped me out um, in that aspect, which was one of my main motivators to do something different. Right. So, That's and awesome. inches wise, okay. sorry, inches wise, um, I'm not sure. I'm down several pant sizes. All of my clothes are too big. Even my jeans that you know, girls, we always save our skinny jeans for when we get skinny again. Those ones were even um, too loose on me. So I had to go shopping again. I still have to. That's the thing. <laughs> well, you work enough, you can get them. So I think that's awesome. And what I want you to tell people about what you were telling me before we got on this about when you were playing sports and things like that, like what your mm -hmm. ultimate goal really was. Because I mean, some people are self-conscious about their goals, but like, you know, it's fine. We all want these secret goals. Like you were talking about your abs and things like mm -hmm. that. And uh, tell, why don't you tell people about what you were doing before for that and, and, and how you feel the difference is now. Sure. So two of my things I always wanted was abs and I wanted really toned legs. Um, and those are things I told Tyler when we first started joining that my legs, I wanted to tone and abs as well, my stomach. So we implemented or he implemented um, several different things and I tried different things and kept getting stronger and stronger. But even when I was playing soccer and running a lot when I was doing track, I always wanted abs and I would ask my friends, how do you get abs? And they would always tell me to run. So that's when I found a like for running. Um, I did get abs, but never to the extent that I have the definition that I have now. So that's one hurdle, I, you know, ladies and gentlemen we're all we like to look good you want to feel good so not only am i able to get a goal there um i feel so much better and i do think it looks really really good um and my legs are getting the definition and the defined muscles in my quads and stuff so i can't wait to continue to see those because i think that's going to keep improving as well yeah you've done awesome and that that's one thing i wanted to point out because that's something that you were we were focusing <clears throat> on at the beginning and um and I think a lot of people get the misconception that, you know, just one thing is going to work, right? And, and like you mentioned, it was all, it was everything. It was nutrition, exercise. We just started adding running, what, like two, three, maybe four weeks ago. But it, yeah. was, it, it wasn't really like, we're going to do that from the beginning. And mm -mm. Again, it's all the things combined that helped you, uh, in my opinion, at least, um, working with you. But I'm glad that you 
uh, especially brought down the blood pressure because that was huge. And when, when you sent me the, the last time you checked, um, that was great. And that's, yeah. that's the normal levels. And you're at an age where you should have that normal level. So, um, and yes. everyone should, but I mean, especially at your age, there's no reason mm-hmm. for you to have super high blood pressure. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, you deserve it. You work really hard and you deserve those kind of results. And I'm so happy that we were able to do that for you, you know, aside from the weight and the abs and the, the tone legs, but really getting your health in order was huge. And um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. But anyways, uh, last thing I'm going to ask you, because Ange is actually, show them the shirt, and Show them what you got on. And is ready to rock and roll. She's like, I got to go for a run after this. So hurry it up, bud. I love that shirt. I got to get one myself. But um, you look great. So what would you tell someone who's on the fence right now who's like, I want to get in, but Tyler just, he, he's annoying. He's, you know, I don't think it's a good idea. What would you tell somebody that's on the fence thinking about getting in the program but hasn't yet? Um, do it. There's not, there's no price on health. I will tell you, I was on the fence about telling him. I mean, even when I took my pictures in the beginning, I was super self-conscious. I was really, I thought it would be really weird. Um, I let my guard down and really put my mind to it. And here I am. I feel so good. I tell everyone about this program. So I was doubting it. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me, but do it for yourself. If you don't do it for anyone else, do it for yourself. Even if, you know, five pounds getting toned, sometimes weight isn't everything. Um, you can build muscle and still help yourself physically and mentally. I say do it. Again, you can't put a price on stuff like that because that was one thing. Well, do I really want to spend the money? Think of the long term. So if you don't spend the money on that, you're going to spend the money on doctor's appointments and medication or more clothes because you keep gaining weight. <laughs> True. And you would know that for a fact, working in healthcare. So I appreciate you for um, hopping on here and kind of sharing your wisdom, sharing your experience and just being awesome. So before we hop off here, do you have anything else you want to share with anybody or have you pretty much said everything that you had to say? Oh, I think I said everything. I just, I'm so excited I did this. I can't wait for the alumni program to continue to go on and I keep hitting goals and I love watching everyone else hit their goals. It's great to be part of the community. So I'm just excited to continue on and keep pressing forward. All right, Ange. Well, I appreciate your time. Everybody watching, thank you all for spending your time and uh, hopefully I'll talk to you guys soon.